Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to another MLB The Show 18 video where today we are heading back to New York to City Field to take on the Miami Marlins for what is the second series against this team this year. So far this year we've had one series against them that we managed to win. I think it was like 3-1 in the end. It was a pretty decent sort of series to, to win in the early part of the series, especially against... Well, it's usually quite a tough team, but this year on this series, they seem to be struggling quite a bit. So today, Jalen Garcia is on the mound for Miami. He's 0 and 6, but last time out, as we saw in my previous MLB video, it doesn't matter what the stats say, you can get shut out by a 0 and 8 pitcher. So we'll just have to do our best to try and change that today. Thankfully, we got DeGrom on the mound. For us, he's 5-1, and 2.61 ERA, so hopefully he can lead us to another victory. All right, without any further ado, we'll jump straight into today's game. So if you haven't tuned in to my series so far this year, I am playing on veteran batting difficulty, and um, God, I can't remember what difficulty I'm pitching at. I always get my difficulties mixed up. I play so many different sports games and racing games that I can never remember which difficulty is which. Uh, it's whatever the one is above veteran, apparently, is what I'm playing on MLB 18, the show. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and hopefully we can get another win on the season. From the borough of Queens, we're at the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Miami Marlins and the New York Mets. Stay tuned for Mets baseball coming up next. Jacob DeGrom, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Yeah, that his last one wasn't very good, mainly because of control issues. Walked five batters in his last start, and he certainly can't do that in this one here, or he's going to come out of the short end of this one. Into the box is the leadoff hitter Cameron Maben, and we are ready for All right, baseball. first pitch of the night. Time to boogie. First pitch of the at bat. And we are underway now in New York. Well, the that first was pitch not of the as accurate as I was hoping. One. Fellas, these Mets, as they enter play here tonight, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, what I need to see out of this offense today is some early production. Somebody's got to get on, on base and, and put the defense on their heels. They've been struggling recently. They're not swinging the bats well. They got shut out yesterday, and this offense needs to adjust itself. Now the one and one pitch. Uh, this one's down to third. Flores has it. And a good oh, throw gosh. gets him one gone. Left that a bit late. So far this year, and our main issue with line up in this, this Dero, sort of game and this season and this franchise mode yeah, has Maddie, been fielding. Been up a lot we just make lately. so From many stupid bottom, errors in the field. Nice. I think we have more the errors than any team in the entire league so far this year, so... It's not not fun. Gonna try and turn that around Ready as the year goes the on. Marlins, Miguel Rojas. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Ready to deliver. Ah. Here's the first pitch. Pitch swung on and hit it in the air. Get that, 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 down to the final out in this first half inning. Now in the box, Justin Bohr. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. You just got to get something over home today. First pitch coming. Last time out, we had like 11 hits and not one run. We just and could not convert. It was ridiculous. Up. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. 
You know, D-Row, I think Jerry Hillsdale is a Jerry. very good hitter's umpire. Doesn't give much Jerry, on the edges. Jerry. He's going to make you put the ball over the plate. Oh, I love me some Jerry Hillsdale. You have to come over those 17 inches. He ain't giving you anything on the outside corner, and that's the way it should be. Now the ah. one and one pitch. I don't get my timing right at all. There's a slider that can't catch the outside. Well, they said he ain't going to give anything on the outside corners, so. Now the two one. God damn it, Jason. Come on. Drilled right back up the middle. Ah, oh, you and this lucky will get on ass motherfucker. Past Reyes for a base hit. So the two out base hit in the top of the uh, inning is still alive. Majorly missed inside. And that was embarrassing. Knocked by the three hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole monster. As soon as he I absolutely hate box, that. You get two quick base. outs, and then you have to battle for a third, and they somehow get on base after like six pitches. Come on. Into the box now, Johnny Givatella. He swings oh my and God! Sends why? To right field. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Wow, looked like an easy beginning of this Come inning. On. Gets the first two guys out, then the three and four hitters all of a sudden start locking in on him. And now he's uh, got to get through this fifth hole hitter to get out of this inning unscathed. Yeah, he's definitely put his feet to the fire right here. This number five guy, he's JT known. Mochu. He sits in that five hole to drive in runs, and he's smelling ribbies right now. At the plate, JT Real Muto. It's been feeling pretty good about things recently as you see the numbers over his past 10 <sighs> Come contests. Come on, guys. Here comes the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Show me it the money. Career, Real Muto has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. Ah, oh, man, what a day. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Ah, oh, yes. Up. Nice. And Adrian will put right. this one well, away after a little bit of a scare there. The inning is over. So a couple That's of hits here down. in the top half, but nothing comes of it. And now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Arlene Garcia gets the starting assignment for the fish in this matchup. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty V, a little bit of a mixed bag with this guy. An ERA of over four in his last three starts. He's either been really good or really bad. And recently, he's been more bad than good. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around and pitch better in this one here today. Next up from New York, Jose Reyes. As we take a look at the splits between April and May. Jose! All right. Time to hopefully get on base a little less and get on runs... Ready with the first pitch. Here a little it bit comes. Donnie straightens him up with a fastball Easy this now. time. It's ball one. Guys, this Marlins ball club, as they begin play here tonight, they come in on the heels of a victory last time out, but they've been in a bad stretch recently, losing five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty, I'm, I, I've been really impressed with this team, especially on oh, the down, road get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. They're three and one. Oh, yes. Four games playing really fundamentally sound baseball. Triple, triple, From triple. Offense to defense pitching. It's all coming together for this group. Yes. And he will make it. Wow, I did not expect now. that. Is That's that one way you want to start out. Costly one indeed. Even the best center fielders make mistakes once in a while, and that's definitely the case here. He totally misplays it, and by the time he recovers, no chance of keeping him from ending up the third. I wonder if they'll give that an error. All right, looks like a base hit. All right, here we go. Time to score for once. Swings and oh, lines smashed. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. All right, we're going to get the second plus, but lead as the run comes across. The Three pitches, one run. Looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line that drilled that just couldn't get it high enough. He does end up getting a sacrifice fly. Next was that one hit? I wonder how hard that one was hit. I think it maybe caught the end of the bat. Felt like I timed it perfectly. Zero for 13 for the big man. I only hit it at 88, 88, <laughs> 88 miles an hour. Ah oh, shit, that was falling. 
Okay, we'll forget that one never happened. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the match. That was a finger slip. I'll tell you, this <laughs> not really intentional. A turnaround from Cespedes. Over the last ten games, he's driven in only three runs. That's not the kind of production you expect from a guy hitting in the middle of the order. He's had some opportunities. He just hasn't cashed in. Yeah, tell me about it. So bases are empty here Bruce. with two gone, and stepping in the dangerous left-handed hitter Jay. Jay Bruce. Time to smash it. Here we go, guys. Come on. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swings yeah, through the what am I there. doing? Come on, see the ball. Came out of his shoes on that one, boys. I thought I that was going to slide back the into the bottom. Up here, but if he gets that pitch again and catches it a oh, wow, how high do you want to hit that? Van Slyke is there. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. And that Shit. ends the inning. So it's one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left. We move ahead to the top of the second now. The Mets lead it one to nothing. Up next from Miami, Derek Dietrich. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Derek Dietrich. First pitch on its way. Rounded down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Well, you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy, 0 and 2. So that was a good job to hold up right there. Two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat nope, with the bat up that's there. Inside. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. Come he's on, really working the count right here. Now the two one. Oh shit! Oh, close. Here's the pitch. Oh, come on, on. Two I and cannot two. time this at all. Oh, what's wrong with me today? Oh, got him! him up as he looks wow. At strike three called, one away. Okay, here's how the Mets are lining that up. That ain't too good. And let's focus our attention on catcher Travis Darno. He's going to have to step up today and have a big game for these guys. Not known necessarily for his defensive acumen, more of a big pop guy on the offensive side. He has got to control this game. Martin Prado now in previous duels with DeGrom. He's totaled four hits in 16 tries. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, that's dangerous. Right down the middle for a strike. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay. You want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, <laughs> but now game I was, on. Yeah. I was literally just thinking the same thing. Let's give him something down here. The wind up and the 0-1. Come on, chuck it to first. Thrilled to the right side. That's what Cabrera I was looking for. It, and he'll yeah, there it this is. One over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Left fielder, Scott Van Slyke. Now at the plate, Scott Van Slyke. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The breaking ball that nice. time in for a strike. We're in the second. One nothing Mets early on. Oh, come on, hit that corner. One 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 home. He's taken for strike two. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Come on, New York. The one two. Ah, I got him. He got him on strikes. Got him. One two three. Go the Marlins. They trail this one one to nothing.
Here now is his dribble Cabrera. Set to lead off as the whole half of the second. As dribble Cabrera. First offering on its way. Oh, come on, liner. Joseph. Foul. Swinging at everything. Oh. Tries to shave the corner nope. with that pitch, but it's one and one. Come on. I can see this guy. I can time him so well. I just got to get it right. The one one home. Push oh, to nice. the right side. Oh, wait. Okay, but maybe not. I thought I thought that was going over his head. Defense. Hey, let's focus on Cameron Maven. Damn, who ate all the pies? One of the more dynamic outfielders in our sport. He's able to cover a ton of ground, gap to gap. I almost feel like he's playing left center to right center. He's not playing center field. He's got it all covered. Bailing the other guys out and not shabby with the Vilma Flores. So striding forward now, Wilmer Flores. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the first on, pitch to show him. Me the money. Now, oh, get oh out of here. Good fun. night. Go. Adios. Out of here in Adios. The Solo shot to right center. Home run number five on the year. And the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues. But when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. A really bad result. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. And the first pitch misses to him. And that's he always one. makes it look like that slide is coming back in. Break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Yeah, I thought so. Here's a fastball that's nice. left down to left center, and this is gonna get down for a base hit. Here's Adrian now. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. First offering on its way. A ball of no strikes. Nope. Now Gonzalez awaits the 1-0. Ah. Hey, I'm a little shocked right there. Double play situation. He doesn't go with the sinker. He goes with the ordinary fastball in that situation. Now the one and one pitch is off. Ah. Missed. He chased it for strike two. Hey, you Come know on. in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone. Yes. You're going to ground into a double play. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. You know, it's funny. The first two strikes are for the fans. You're trying to put balls in the seats right there. With two strikes, it's for the team. you got to shorten up and find a way, and that's exactly what he did right there. Soft liner into right field for a base hit. Stepping in now, Jacob deGrom. As he ah, shit. To, first. to second for one. On to first as they get uh, a double play to get him out of the inning. Pulled way too early. Fuck. Do pick up a run on this solo shot. We played two. It's now two nothing New York. Well, that was a minor fail. Now batting, Harleen Garcia. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third.
hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Yeah. Takes a fastball oh. on the inside corner. A swinging oh. strike, and now Money. it's 0 and 2. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. As he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out. Money, 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 one away. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes uh, his pitches. That one. was a three pitch Cameron strikeout. Cameron. And with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Here's Cameron Mabin now. As he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Grounded back up the middle. Ah, oh, come and on. Drew into center field for a one out. <sighs> no catch a break. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six game hit streak going. You know what? And this could be, this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six game hitting streak so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A high fastball is in there. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Outside oh, come on, hit that corner. One one. Mabin, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. He's going. Runners off for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time lucky as he steals second. Hey, it's almost impossible to throw a base runner out that gets a lead that big. And plus, this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. The one two oh, shit. hit on the ground out to short and that's through into left field. Oh wait, no, what hit. am I doing? Uh no. And they are on the board as the run scores <sighs> to make this a two to throw to home. game now. Let's make him work for it. Now God damn it. Justin Bohr. Riding in once again, Justin Bohr. He singled his last time up. Oh my god, what is belt. Going Kicks on with this freaking controller. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. The intent of that change up away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job oh, to lay hit off the, the zone. Plate, though. Two and oh now. Runners on Come first on. with one down. Two balls Zero. and a strike Oof, to Way board. in front of that. Come on, I want to see that apple. One more time tonight, at least. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Turned on that one, yes. and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. You pull a fastball like Come that, on. you got to tell yourself to slow it down a little bit, play more gap to gap, and keep that front shoulder square, oh. pointed towards the pitcher. That'll tie him up big time. Plane. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. <laughs> Justin Bohr is out <laughs> number two here in the third inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Johnny Giovatella. He reached on a single in his first try. And he oh, no, 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 Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. Come on, Jose. First pitch of the at bat. A swing ah, here on the fastball. That slider on the corner. Off to the right side. Oh, no, that's a fastball, actually. Never mind. <laughs> ah, Another too one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. I can never hit those high strikes. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when I you always flip that drift corner, down in zone like that, and I this level. need to. It's a bad habit that I need to break. Right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Ooh, he saws oh, you him off with that one. And they will not. Yes! Oh, we got it. He's able to leg out the throw. 
That was lucky. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint. It's like a but spliced nice bunch. Nice hustle. Bottom line, nice Money. hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double. Reyes is our fastest zero, player on the entire team. So if there was anyone that was going to make that happen, pitcher. it was him. There's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a oh, damn. pitch that, that was a good pitch. the zone. And there's that sea of orange that's become such a common sight here at City Field. Those are diehard Mets fans, and they're not shy about it. Yeah, Matt, they really do an <laughs> awesome job rallying the Mets and getting more fans bought into the whole movement. But one of the things I love most about the group is how well they travel. You see cheering sections in other cities, but these guys go oh, all nice. over the country, invade sections of business. Oh, what a oh, catch. How about that for the play? Laying out to take away a hit. Wow. They often Damn it. say in baseball, it's better to be lucky than good. This pitch has been having a rough go of it lately, but that diving catch right there might have uh. saved this inning and possibly saved the game. Here's your one Cespedes. Line towards Trailed. center field. Straight Maybe to him. Is there two gone? The batter, right fielder, Hey, So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring in the right fielder, Jay Bruce. First pitch on its way. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Reyes leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. One and one the count. And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. Oh, come on. Two strikes now. God damn if you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start run, moving run, run. forward. He was way too late there. Pitch inside the throw, and it's nice. not in time. So Reyes has himself a stolen bank. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. No, go back, go back, go back. Pickoff move to second. And he'll get back in safely. Now a spin and another throw back to second. What do you? What? And he knew. Is he there was a reason why you're just there standing there? Just tag him out between second and third, and the inning is over. Uh, Nothing doing for the right. Metropolitan. That they was retarded. Two to one. <laughs> what the fuck? At least run or do something <laughs> to just stand there. By the time he freaking caught Ready the ball, Reyes would have made it. If it well, okay, that was a massive game glitch. In his first trip. First offering on its way. No balls in one strike. And there's ball one. The one one takes this the other way to right. But yes. He will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time.
in now Derek Dietrich and she'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one oh for one after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And that one just missed outside. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two seamer moving away from a left handed hitter didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. Fourth inning of a 2 to 1 ball game. And it's 1 and 2. Count is 1 and 2. Look out. Ugh. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. <laughs> the two two is a swing. And miss. That's strike three. Oh man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. All right, come on. Martin one down. now. Oh, sorry, two down, one to go. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's been pitching really well so far in this one as we cruise into the middle innings. One of the big reasons why 80 oh, no. drive deep down the left field line. And that is Ooh. off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Soft liner to the right side. Nice. And no problem over there at first as he flagged this one down to end the inning. Jay Bruce will be the one to lead us off when we return. It's the Mets 2 and the Marlins 1. Digging in for his second at bat, Jay Bruce. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Jay Bruce. Come on, Jay. Field in the overshift here. Now the pitch. High in the oh, air. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. And that is oh, <laughs> he did the exact same as what that Mullins play just did. Ball. Exact same place. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. On the ground oh, the right oh, side. Damn, I hate the shift. I hate and the shift. I hate the now. shift. That would have been a base hit with any other field except for that one. Good time now to check out the Marlins road Damn, that's to the unlucky. show report as you see a couple of players in the upper levels of the minors that have been making waves as of late. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Uh, show me the money. Here comes the first pitch. Here we go. Line get down, get down. Right yes. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants up into plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. As he oh, shit. And lifts it in the air out to shallow God right damn field. It. Dietrich in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Up next for the men. Catcher. Coming to the plate now, oh, no. Travis Darno. A base hit in his first trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, the God, that sinker. sinker. Tough pitch, strike one. Gets me every time.
Here's the 0 1. Line drive to center field. Nice. In there, the base hit. Hold it. Now two outs, two hits. Nice. Here's Adrian now. One for one after a single this first time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. Nope. Now nope. Fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. One oh count. Here it is. Missed with a slider. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Ground ball. Get up there. The middle. Yes. Oh, he can't pick it up cleanly. Could have gone home there. But a heck of a job didn't really want to risk right it. Here. You would have thought he bought himself a fast. That's all right. So gets an off-speed pitch, doesn't try to do too much, and drives it for a base hit. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Jacob Degrom. God, you're kidding me! <laughs> Come on, Jacob, please give me something. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch, and a neck-high fastball that time. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. Cabrera on third. Dono Come on, Jacob, second. please. Gonzalez at first, two please. out in the inning. Now a ball. Oh my to god, the left if only I'd pulled that a little bit straighter. This will be a foul ball. Damn it. Oh my god, get through. Yes! Oh my god! The pitcher just got an RBI. What? What? That's ridiculous. You're facing the opposing pitcher and you give up a two out RBI. That is ridiculous. A two out not given up to the opposing pitcher. Listen, as a pitcher, you hate to give up base hits. That's embarrassing. Alright, come on, Jose. Send it in the stands. I've never ever hit a grand slam on any MLB game in my entire life. So here is another opportunity. I've hit two hits in two trips more in Freaking three run home runs. Never hit a grand slam. The one oh. Oh, that was begging to be hit. Fuck. Ah. Oh, that was a peach. Nine hits. And no errors on the Mets line. God, I can't believe so I gave far. that one up. On, no, no, no. Ah, oh, you bitch. Driven to right field and deep. And he will get there Damn. to make the running play. And that will end the inning. So one run. On damn, 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 hits. damn. No errors. And three men left stranded. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Mets damn. three. And the Marlins one. I can't believe we gave that one up. Here's Scott Van Slyke. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. And there's a pitch that just God damn it, I cannot hit that zone. Corner. Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at 2-0. Oh. Nice. Strike. Line oh, on the center field. Yes, motherfucker. 
A dive, oh, but it'll get past him out in center, and this idea. could roll till tomorrow. Around second, he's on his way to third. And he will make it one all nice the way to, to the cutoff now. guy. That mistake proves a costly Damn one it. indeed. Hey, there's okay. another base knock right there. A hitting streak now up to eight games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, eight games. Now, nah, I mean, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games. Now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hitting streak going. First offering on its way. Ah, oh, come on. And that one stayed up a little high. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You could see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. This oh, come on, get that, get that, get that, get that. Short left center. Cespedes is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And they will not try running on that arm. Wisely so, as he holds on tight with one away now. Cameron Maven. Here's Cameron Maben now. He's one for two in this one. From the stretch. And a slider tails outside for ball one. One-one home. Misses oh, come for the on. second ball. Yeah, with that on the line. The two-one. Taken. Nice. Strike two. Much better. Here now the two-two. He stays alive. Still two and two. Three to one. Our score as we play inning number five. Get that, get that, get that. Foul, and it looks like that's going to make Diving. it into the ah. VIP seats. Yeah, come on. Here's another 2-2. Got him. Nice. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are Got two him. gone. How about it? For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion. The batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 0 and 1 delivery on the ground to third, taken in by Flores. Nice. Go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. One hit, one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. Look at that, nine it's hits, three, three runs. It's still we cannot won. convert this year. I don't know what's going. I mean, we had three men on base just then. Thank God we managed to score with the pitcher, but Klein. And now pitch on the way, and he gets ahead 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Grounded back up the middle. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Was that a changeup? Here's the left fielder, yeah. Yoenis Cespedes. Hit the ball pretty well in his last Rolled over the top of it too much. In a line out. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy. That slider. It's that slider again. This guy's got a wicked slider, I tell you what. changes that complexion of that Matt's betting order. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Detroit uh -huh. back in plenty of time to put this away, Nine. however, and there are two gone. Bruce. Here's Jay Bruce now. He was a ground out victim last time up. Come on, just fucking send it. Just send it. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a Good shot night, Amigo. Jesus. And it's gone. I, and I said send it. I didn't think he was going to send it that far. There's that home run I've been waiting on Jay for so long. So hard to hit against the shift, but if you can get it up over it, it means nothing. And the Mets open things up here. It's now two homers in one in one game. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. 
Well, how do you beat that? That was a power swing as well. You hit it over the shift, of course. You can't play guys <laughs> up just the sky, so he lifts this one up and out of here. 427, that's not bad. Into the box as Dribble Cabrera hit the other way out ooh, toward ooh, right field. Ooh. Dietrich on the move. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> I got excited there. I thought, I thought it was the right inning. height where it had been hit hard enough, but obviously not enough power behind it. Kaboom! 427. Finally, we get a homer with Bruce. It's been ages. Ready for another All right, chance. it's time to end Justin this shit. Gore. Come on. One for two on his line so far in the game. I'm not going to be able to take DeGrom the whole way at this rate. He's ready. We'll see how long we can go. And it's fouled away. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in a wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. That's Money. In there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Shit, don't hit him. Don't hit him. Oh, they really ah, God, is that the that same guy we tied up before? It is too. Well, you can Did the exact same thing again. Go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. That's he's the second time we've sent him back to the bullpen. Right uh, now, we're seeing a lot back to the dugout. And misses and a lot of like in that and no exact same either. pitch slash strikeout reaction. Stepping in now, Come Johnny on. Givatella. As the first pitch to him oh. is in there for a called strike Yummy. one. A hit in two tries for him so far. The wind up and the 0-1. Just got a piece up the line. But that one rolls God foul. damn it. One run, five hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Oh, wow, why does it... God, who knows where that's going to go. Try to yeah, tempt him with <laughs> curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well Come to on. spit on it there. The one-two. Hit hard. No. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. God damn it. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank because that guy made a nice two-strike approach right there. Made a nice two-strike adjustment. In now, JT Real Muto. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Oh, one pitch on its way. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Um, okay. <laughs> Here comes another 0 2. And that one just missed outside. Damn it. Great arm action on that two strike changeup right there. But even better job at the plate to take that one. Ready to deliver the one and two. Oh, him come up. on, no. Bruce coming on. And that'll That's slice right. just foul at the last moment. This is hit high oh, in the shit. air out toward left center. There to pull it in, Ligaris, and there are two away now. All right, come on, two down, one to go. The right fielder number 32, Derek Dietrich. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Derek Dietrich. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Sweet. Gia Vitella, the runner at first with two gone. Behind 0-2 now. The 
0-2 delivery. Oh, come on. And drive fair ball down the line. Pick up the ball. Gia Vitella is on his way home. And a relay to the plate. And he God is damn it. safe at the plate. That was the luckiest to hit a ever. Two game now. Now that, that will drive the pitching there. coach crazy. He has the hitter down 0-2 in the count. And instead of making him chase at something off the plate, he grooves one that's driven down the line for a run scoring double. Have to make better pitches on an 0-2 count. Standing in now, Martin Prado. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Layoff here as well, and it's 2 0 to the Miami third sacker. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate, and that usually means damage done. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Two balls and a strike now. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw on to the first well, baseman. I mean, Gonzalez we still have the lead, but that sucks. It's just that over. should not have been. Get that was just so ridiculous. How the hell he pulled it there? The six, down the that right hand line. The Mets four, oh, damn it. The two. I'll catch a break. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Miami. Number 64. Ready for another shot now. Wilmer Flores. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Leading up for the Mets. There's Strike one to start the Damn at bat. Whitgren stands 6 2 and throws from the right side. He was a ninth round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an Come impact on. at the big league level. Counts even at one and one to Wilmer Flores. Here's the one one. Takes this God the damn other it, way to right. Straight right to him. At least him make right work for it. As he hardly has to move to take it in for the first okay. down. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. All right. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Shame, because I felt like I absolutely nailed that one. He'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. And he won't bite nope. at that one either. It's 2-0. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 2-0. Hit hard back up the middle. Oh, he nice. Dirty, but he can't Just got it hard enough. A base hit. Hey, one of the things that makes it so tough to pitch is you consistently have to make good pitches. Even on 2-0, oh, you just can't lay one right down the middle. Yeah, I'm sure he wanted to nip a corner right there, but hats off challenge in 2-0 oh, in a fastball count. He came and got some. Ready once again, Adrian Gonzalez. Already two for two. We'll look to add on right here. Here comes the first pitch. Hard on the ground. Nice. Short. And Gonzalez yes. is going to have himself a base hit. Hey guys, that's an excellent piece of hitting right there. A good change up down and away gives most batters problems. But trying to think the other way from an offensive standpoint, excellent job. Come on. Into the box now, Jacob DeGrom. Nope. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. 
one for two in the ball game thus far. Now the Run one yes, yes. Now the double steal is on here. Now a bunt attempt here. Oh, and it sailed. Oh away. no! Oh, what? <laughs> no way! What just happened? And don't forget, on a ball thrown out of play, the rule says that the runner gets the base he was running to, plus one more. Oh my god, that's awesome. No way. So, I made them go one step. Here's the shortstop Hold on, now. Let me Jose just focus here. This is oh, nailed. And this is into the gap for his third hit of the night, and it'll be good for extra bases. No, what? Oh, why didn't and he? And on the play, idiots. the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Let's take another look at All right. just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Here's Juan Ligares. And oh, why didn't I? Up here. <laughs> one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Come on. The 0 1 on its way. This is no. on the ground over to first. Oh, come on, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Oh, yeah, no, I just got it. It's right. Get the sacrifice. Wow, that was a great job to rob him of an RBI single. Showed some great athleticism, and it winds up being an RBI ground out instead. Here's your one Cespedes. There's no way down a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Oh, swing. get out of here. Shot hit down the corner. Get out of here. And oh, what? A home run. Three in one game. Two run homer. Wow, I did not see that coming. It's a two run shot here for Yoannis Cespedes. That's what Cespedes Number can do. For him on the year. Wow, what a and turnaround since a last game. Run ball game. Well, that was this lineup's third homer of the game. Yeah, Matt, it's always tough to score runs here at this big ballpark in City Field. Heck, d -Roll, they've moved the fences in a couple of different times here to make it easier for the Mets hitters. You know, this has been such an impressive hitting performance today by this offense. Oh, get down, get down, get down. City Field, although aesthetically did he pleasing, just, did that just, for an wow. Ball play. All right. Loud yeah, going back to what happened earlier, fellas. basically I just, I got him a lead of one step. And then I sort of told him to go uh, when the pitcher was taking that bun. And then he sort of, I knew he was going to run back. It's just whether or not I could get the bunt down. Managed to get the Here bunt down and it screwed Cabrera. him all over. And As he takes a cold strike on the black, before you know it, one. he threw He's it out of play, <laughs> which helped out a lot. To this point. That error has led to a lot of runs, but you got to keep going. Get these guys' averages up. Get some confidence back into the team. You've only won five of, uh, three of the last on eight games. The pitch. Mind this you, a lot of them are simmed. Oh, come on, get down. Ah, oh, shit. There to put it away and finally put uh, it in the inning. So this once slim lead is slim no longer as five runs come across to score to help build a substantial advantage. We're through six full. The Mets are out on top, nine to two. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning. Five now runs in one half on inning. Top, but first, let's Love it. check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Scott Van Slyke. And he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. 
Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. One of the keys to pitching late in the game. Uh, first pitch strikes, and this guy's uh, rolling along. So far, over 70% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. Yeah, uh, Maddie, not. The one two. He swung on and missed strike three. Got him. The bottom third of the lineup hasn't put up a lot of resistance in this one. Pretty much has been sure outs other than that one hit. That really puts a lot of pressure on other guys to make stuff happen. These aren't the guys you usually count on, but it certainly helps if they can do something productive. Swing and a little bit of ah. But he won't get there. It falls in. Got to be a little frustrated on the offensive side. Yeah, everybody's getting knocks and the batting averages are flowing right now. I keep getting this freaking lucky shit. That big runner in scoring position, two out knock kind of feel that really is going to break this game over. Oh, and one the count. Oh, and two the count to Maven now. Hey, you find yourself down 0-2. You've got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even. Count. And he rings Ooh, nice. up another one. Make it nine okay. strikeouts for him in the game. Now Riding in once again, Miguel Rojas. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. A one and no delivery. Here's one fouled off to the right as the count evens at one and one. Here it comes on one and one. Line drive to left. Well, this is Money. right to him in All right. left as he hardly has two innings left. Trying to extend it. Comes on to pitch now, hoping for Man, better this is results a different than the other situation to the last game. This one. It's crazy how much Red things can change. Fastball off the plate Between games. It's ball one. New pitcher in. Looks. I didn't even realize it was a new pitcher until I looked at the height of him. Story's the same way. Now a swing and a fly ball. Ah, shit. And foul. Too late. Ah, too one late. Come on. Two strikes to count. The one two. Oh Two's yes. Shot here out towards short. Oh what? And one gone. Wow. All right. That looked like I absolutely nailed that. Obviously not. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Yeah, it was only 77 miles an hour. It was a contact swing, up. so it makes here sense. Here comes the first pitch. There's a new ah. pitch that catches the zone. Could have sent that one. Wind up and the 0 1. Ah, come on. Just outclassed by that fastball for a strike. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Into the wind up. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Line oh, nice. towards center field. He oh, wow. Well. for it, but he can't pull it in. Go again, go. And he'll triple, triple, keep going, keep going. One away. And he will make it all the way to third oh, now. Is that mistake? Could have had a dash for home, but that wouldn't have worked, I don't think. Right there. First <laughs> Is that Darno? Right yeah, no, he doesn't have the pace to make it back home. Reyes would have made it well before he even got to that ball. Oh, well. moving on. Here's Adrian now, as he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. Trying to keep it going, a perfect Adrian, three for three thus far. A ball and a strike oh, to the Mets' first baseman. Oh, sweet. Sorry, I thought that wow, was that was a decent breaking ball right there, but 
that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed opposite bat. You could see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Here's a fly ball oh. well hit. Oh. Ranging back is made. But he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. A cash in here as the run what? is in to score from third. No, no, no. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, okay. Thank God there was no one back at first. I don't know why he didn't just go all the way to second. He would have made it easy. Oops. Digging in to try it again. Jacob DeGrom. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Uh, high high fastball high, is in there. Gonzalez, base runner at first with one out. Liner oh, come towards on. second. Ah. This is hauled in by the second baseman. Damn it. Digging in and looking for more, Jose Reyes, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. He's set and the pitch. Sent on the ground. Get through, get through, get through, get through. Oh, oh damn. Stop. Got him! Yeah, no, that was a good stop. Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Digging in once again, Justin Bohr. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First offering on its way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. Throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base and not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. This one is launched. Ah, Look shit. at this. Oops. Gone to lead off the inning. Well, they're not there yep. yet, but a solo homer to... Uh, okay, it's uh, probably should have done this a little bit earlier. Oops. Now here comes the Mets skipper on his way toward the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Uh, at least we got one down. Bruce has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. The batter, Captain JC Real Muto. Up next for Miami, JT Real Muto. One run in and one gone so far this inning. First pitch coming, here it is. A shot down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. Bases are empty. One man out. Let's go, man. One and two now as this catches the outer half. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No. Nice. Man, expecting to mix it up. Got Most him. catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. So it was a swinging strike three. JT Real Muto is sent packing for the second out of the inning. He's set. Here it comes. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Oh, 
two and zero now. Now the two zero. Fly ball right down the line in left, and that will end up a foul ball. Now the two one. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. Looks at a fastball low here, and it's full three and two. Martin Prado would be next. The three two pitch gets him looking at the knees for the Boom. strikeout. Got him. But a solo home run will at least get this closer to respectability. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's the Mets 10 and the Marlins 3. Here's Juan Lagares now. He's got a base hit tonight. He was a ground out victim last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Ah, shit. I thought that was going to drop down. Lively fastball. <sighs> this one almost Oops. in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, get down. on their ability yes. to get that pitcher to come into the heart get to, of the plate. Get to, get to, get to, get to. And he'll Wee. pull into second here with nobody out. When it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well-hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. As he'll take a nope. look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. Lagares leads off second with nobody out. Line ah, drive shit. to center field. That's oh, wait. In there. That got Base down? Hit. Oh, and lucky we didn't run. That was a good throw. At third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Hey, this has the makings of being a pretty big inning D-roll. Lead off double, now a base hit, and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third. Yeah, sometimes you wake up and just get smacked in the mouth right here. He's going to have to start executing right, come pitches. On. He cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here. He's going to have damage on his hands. Sinker to open sinker. the A-B in there for strike sinker. one. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. The sinker and the slide, I just cannot get him. It's a high oh, fly shit. ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Stays alive. God, I thought it was going to come back two. down. Lucky we got something to it. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. And oh. a fastball just a bit up. That was you know, a good Matty, pitch. I'm not surprised by that pitch. Raise the eye level a little bit. Maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here. Come on, Jay. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now that ah, popped shit. Up. Prado is there, and he's got it for the first out. The batter, number 13, second baseman. Digging in the switch hitter as Dribble Cabrera. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Here comes the first pitch. Liner toward right center. And that'll get down out there. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Hey, Dero, there's a prime example of a little ambush piece, right? Come up there looking to hit right off the get-go. First pitch comes in, whack, base hit. Yeah, you want to know if this guy was ready to go? He had a game plan. Hashtag ambush. Here we go now.
stepping in now. Wilmer Flores. And she'll take one on the inside corner at the knees. It's strike one. Back to him on the mound. And that's through into center field. Base hit. May have been able to get this in quickly, and that's going to force the runner to hold on at third base. How about it? Captain. Next for the Mets, Travis Garneau tripled and scored in his last at bat. And we'll see what he does for a follow up act here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Mine to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And they'll put the brakes on the runner at third, so the bases will remain loaded here with still only one away. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. Okay, well, this was a slight demolishing. Into the box, Adrian Gonzalez. He swings oh, and shit. grounds it to short. Gia Vitella relayed a first. All right, time. well, it was a smashing <laughs> until then. The side is retired. So two runs on five hits, no errors, and two left. We played eight full. It's the Mets 12 and the Marlins three. The seven train making its stops just outside City Field as we welcome you back inside for the remainder of baseball on the show. Martin Prado now starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances oh, yeah. as a professional. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Back up the middle. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. With that, the Marlins get a good start to the inning with their leadoff man aboard. Ambush tactics right there, but he didn't try and do too much. He stayed in there and just drove it back up the middle. Here's Scott Van Slyke. As he takes a cold Money. strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. He's working on a 1 for 3 thus far. Here comes the 0 1. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. A 1 1. Is looked at for ball number two. I got two on the count. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. Uh, I wasn't going to bother trying to get two there. I don't think I was going to get it. We'll just we'll snag one. It's all right. How about it? The pitcher, Severino. Lewis Brinson will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. On the ground for the shortstop, Reyes fielded cleanly. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, my God, no. First is they can't make the oh, I press triangle and set a circle. Oops. Back to the top of the Cameron Miami lineup Mabin. now and stepping in, Cameron Mabin. He went down on strikes last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a knee-high fastball. Prado over at second. Brinson at first, one gone. Hit the other way out toward right field. Cabrera ranging into the outfield. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. All right, last out. Here we go. Ready now for the Marlins. Miguel Rojas. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. There's a oh, fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. 
so far this season Rojas is slugging a little under the 400 mark so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good two down runners at first and second takes a look at one catching oh, the outside nice corner here we go ah shit now this crowd right around 35,000 strong on their feet. Three and two now. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. On the fist, on, get a it. jam shot to the nice. right side. And it's over. For the final out. And the Mets it is over, ladies and gentlemen. Twelve three. What a this score! This has the of a real hard-fought game, but uh, paper and reality, those are two different things. They pulled away and never looked back. How about to a tune of a nine-run victory? Twelve to three is the way this nine one runs. New That's York. gonna help Jumped out some of these guys' numbers the big time. Never looked back. Whew, what a game. His sixth winning decision what a game. In so that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over 22 to 22 hits. <laughs> 22 hits. To be honest, 22 hits, only 12 runs. <laughs> they should have done it better than that. But anyway, 3 for 5 for Jose. Wow, well, look at those numbers. Five for five by Travis Darno. Five out of, wow, that's awesome. Homers for Jay Bruce and Johannes Cespedes. And Jacob DeGrom, actually. Six for one, three ER. Managed to score an all-important sort of error hit, which was awesome as well. But, no, wow, what a game. All right, thanks, guys, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a long one, but awesome score in the end. Plenty of runs by way of the Mets today. All right, until next time. I'll